what would you say is the number one reason? Uh, well, so obviously this is Kit. This is Kit. This is not right or wrong, okay? But this is this was Kit's thing. What do you think? If somebody asked you why do we why are we losing thirty thousand farms a year? What would be your first answer? Well, okay, the first thing that popped in my head was that the younger, it's not as attractive to the younger generations to go into farming. And then I thought, I know I've heard you talk about um, like a regulatory impediment, like the, the, there's a financial impediment to getting into farming. Oh, and the land is so expensive now because it's getting bought up by, you know, by people what I won't name because I don't want to be censored. <laughs> But uh, maybe. So, uh, all right. So, so you're, you're, uh, you know, you know, when you play uh, hot, cold, you know, you're getting yeah. warmer, you're getting warmer. Okay. So uh -huh. your first response, you, let's see, look, you're, a, you're, a, you, I know you know how to take tests. So you always know probably your first intuition. First so, so your first response was warmer than anything you've said since. So I want to, I want to key on that one. So it's not attractive for the younger generation. And you know, the other principle of you ask, you're, you're to get to the bottom of a thing. You're supposed to ask why five times, and by the time your fifth why, you know you actually get to the answer. So I'm going to start okay. with a why. Why is it not attractive? Okay, so the first thing that popped in my head was because of the stereotype that we have of farmers, right? That that they're not as it's not as uh, in a, intelligent people don't go into farming, uh -huh. shall we say? Like that's what I would say. I could see like high school counselors saying that. For yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've been told that. I've been told that. Absolutely. I mean, to my face. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, Did yeah, they know I, you were a farmer? No. When I was in high school. Oh, oh. I, my last my last trip to the guidance counselor. I, so I'm, a, I'm an 11th grader. And you have to go visit the guidance counselor for your final, you know, years, whatever curriculum, you know, set up your, what are you going to do to senior year? And so I went to my obligatory, you know, meeting with the high school guidance counselor and, um, and, and we're talking and, and um, she doesn't like what I wanted to do. And she said, um, well, what do you really want to do with your life? I said, I want to be a farmer. And I remember it like today, I thought I was gonna to have to do CPR on that lady. <laughs> I mean, she just, she just went ballistic uh, and went into what, you know, waste all that talent, waste all that, you know, uh, and, and I mean, I left there feeling like I was a failure. Um, she, she wasn't, she wasn't hearing it. I mean, I was whatever. I was number four in the graduating class. I wasn't number one, but, um, but you know, I was, I was an honor student and all this stuff. And I mean, people like that just don't go into farming. You know, you're, it's just not, it's not acceptable. And um, I, I, I still have a, I still have a nervous twitch, you know, from that, uh, from that last encounter. And, and I've talked to other young people. I've um, I was judging 4-H speeches one year and, and a guy uh, did a speech on, almost an identical circumstance that he'd had. And he, he was an, he was a senior in high school. He just had the same thing happen to him. And this was 30 years later, you know, after me, same, same thing. Okay. So, well, why? Well, you know, and I'll say real fast, that's a similar response that a lot of us get when we tell people that we're going to um, quit the workforce and homeschool our kids. Yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. same thing. I was literally told that I was a disgrace to women everywhere. Yeah, yeah. That because I had gone and you gotten this advanced degree, and then now I'm just going to go home and sit at home with my kids. Like, you know, what a disgraceful thing that you could do to the feminist movement and stuff. And that has stayed with me, where I've always felt like, oh, I can't be quote unquote just a homeschool mom is not good enough. You know, yeah. it's yeah. taken time to get. So I I completely relate with to your nervous twitches and you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that was the first why because intelligent people don't farm. So now my second why, second why is why don't intelligent people farm? Well, I would say because farming's antiquated, right? That uh, especially the newer yeah. generation with, you know, computers and the AI stuff and all that thing, then, you know, farming is something that you, uh, our founders did that. <laughs> like okay. there's no glory in it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Okay. Um, 
Was I colder on uh, that you're, one? You're, 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 uh, you're, you're, you're pushing me now. I'm afraid, I'm afraid we're going to get down to another, another path. We were going really good, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and do the third. Why? So, so why is it, why is there no glory? Uh, why is there no glory in, in, in farming? Well, I, for me, it would be because uh, our society doesn't value farmers and what's considered success is in mainstream at least is typically climbing the corporate ladder you know having that oh, you're, title you're, with job and you're still you're still in the game good good <laughs> so 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 the fourth why all right yeah, this is fun. This is actually good a good exercise in the whys. You know, th that's an axiom in, in whatever, in business circles. Five whys, and you get to the actual nub of the thing. Oh, I uh, didn't know that. Yeah. So so um, so why isn't it considered – why isn't it considered um, valuable? You mean farming? Yeah. Well, we don't think of farmers as successful because we see success in a different light. So they don't have the the suit in the corner office and the fancy car and okay. the titles uh, and the bonuses. Right. And we don't value where our food comes from because we're so separated from the food supply. Yeah. So, no, so the food, it's in yeah. the grocery store. Yeah. So so why? All right. So th this is our fifth why now. This is the one we got it. We got to peg it now. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pressure. All right. So so it's not successful in the way the world defines success. Yeah. So what is it about the way the world defines success that farmers don't achieve? Why are they not successful in the world's eyes? Because they are not. <laughs> uh, this is uh, a fill in the blank because they're not. Well, oh, I'm, I'm trying to ESP to you. I know. I'm like, uh, <laughs> well, they're not, I don't know. They're not inventing new things. They're uh, not contributing oh, to, oh, I went the other way. Okay. Let me go. Let me go back this way. Not, because they're not rich. Oh, they're I, not said, wealthy. Oh, I huh? said that. I said that. Oh, you did? That, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I said that they don't, you know, you don't make money like they're, yeah, yeah. Okay. they're all right, all right. versus climbing so, the ladder and getting right. the car so, and everything. So, so we got to it. Th thanks for, thank, thanks for, for playing along. So <laughs> his, so, so his, his answer, his answer, why are these farms dwindling is that it's too easy to have an off farm job and kids, kids don't want to inherit a hobby. They want to inherit they want to hear they want to inherit a business and so it's too easy for farmers to not treat their farm as a business because they can go to get a job in town commute from home and now their farm can be a hobby and not run as a business so his number one answer was why are farms dwindling was the ease of off-farm jobs. Friends, want to dive deeper into our thought-provoking conversations? Become part of the Beyond Labels family today by joining below. For any gift amount, you'll get access to the full uncut episodes.